how plausible is uh, is this theory? The story. Well, there are really two. There are really two narratives happening here. There's a modern narrative which goes towards the illegal excavations beneath the Temple Mount. Sadly, that's more nonfiction than story. Uh, there really is a 12th century Islamic sect called the Al As, uh, called the Waqf Authority, rather. That's burrowing beneath the al Aska Mosque. So that's true that they're trying to eradicate all Judeo-Christian ruins to deny a Western connection to Jerusalem. As for the ancient theory, I suggest an uh, ancient intelligence operation uh, operative in Titus's palace so as to smuggle a piece of history and an artifact through the Roman censors. Um, we know that something happened in Titus's palace. We know that his mistress and his court historian and his favorite stage actor were all simultaneously executed or expelled. So we have reason to think that, as Le Carre would put it, there was a network that was blown somehow, that there really was some kind of ancient espionage that was unmasked. Um, as to what they were smuggling, uh, I fictionalized in some measure the motive, but they all were from Jerusalem, and in all likelihood it had either to do with laying plans for another rebellion in Jerusalem, or as my theory suggests, an artifact from the first temple, which had been rather the second temple, the Herodian temple, that had been recently sacked by Titus. So it's certainly not a disprovable theory, um, and in fact, when you read the marginal notes of Josephus, all indications point towards um, a likelihood that what they were trying to preserve was not just history itself, but an artifact.